I welcome everybody to tonight. It's going to be a great time of struggle. This night is going to be awesome, but today is going to be better because it gets better every single day. My name is Oluwa Yomi Ute, and I'll be anchoring today with the chief anchor of all seasons, Simply Setan. Welcome, Simply Setan. Good morning, ma'am. Thank you so much, P.Y. Uh, good morning, our guests. Good morning, our partners. Good morning, our friends and families. Thank you for joining with us. Good morning, prospects. Don't be surprised we we'll say good morning here, that we see ourselves in the newness of every day on the Long Bridge platform. So wherever you may be joining us from, whatever location you may be, it is good morning. Now, tonight, it's a special night, a special package with one of the young millionaires we have on our platform. Um, and our topic says, it's time to go next level. And we put it to be loaded. Because the other time we got him, uh, we couldn't get the best out of him because it was on the road based on the commitment with Long Bridge to the factory the other day. So we have tried to come into his space again tonight and it's going to do exceedingly well. We, we can trust him for that. So sit back, get your prospects on, get your members on board, and come for knowledge tonight. So our guest tonight is Vincent Okafor. And uh, before we bring him up, I'll be playing his profile video. Vincent Nonso Okafo, popularly known as Vinello, is a graduate of public health from the prestigious University of Ibadan. He is the managing director of Vinello Investment Limited, a company that focuses on real estate and importation, wholesale and retail of home and office furniture. Currently one of the top leaders with Long Reach Bioscience International and serving as a senior stockist. Vincent is the energetic team lead, Upland Empire. He is a two-time car qualifier and multiple all-expense trip qualifier. Vinello is enthusiastic to see youths and young adults fulfill their entrepreneurial dreams with all seriousness and hard work. Ladies and gentlemen, with a rousing welcome, I present to you Vincent Nonso Okafor, also known as Vinello. Yeah, you're highly welcome. You're welcome, sir. Thank you so much for being here. You're muted. Thank you. Okay. Okay, th thank you very much. I'm unmuted right now. Thank you very, very much. I enjoyed the um, the introduction. Thank you very much to each and every one of you, the CIG team, for inviting me again. The last time we had this meeting, unfortunately, I was not um, relaxed. I, I was coming from the factory, and then we have you know a lot of distraction. But today we are going up again with the 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 topic is time to go next level, you know. And as I said in the last class on the last section, I it's something whenever I say next level, like next year, um, for example, I already had a goal I wrote for myself next year. And that goal um is actually a very big goal. I don't want to mention it here right now. <laughs> you know, and the next what I told myself is is going to be a next level thing. So by the time I'm um opening and probably I'm unraveling um, the whole thing. Everybody here will know, oh, this is what I mean, I'm talking about today. Now, but the, the, the thing is, I want each and every one of us to, um, this particular class is going to be more of manifestation because every everything I, I have now, where I am right now, it's something I, I see before I actually get it, you know? So I want everybody here to say something like, or type it in the chat box or say it's in your head, the next level have my name on it. You understand is another dimension with my name on it is another dimension with my name on it type on the chat box is another dimension with my name on it because today we're talking about the next level what does it take to go to the next level and now before i even get to that next level i'm already saying it's another dimension with my name on it because i cannot feature in a future i cannot picture you understand so when we're saying next level when i'm saying i'm going to the next level when i say it is time to go to the next level i'm already imagining it I'm already picturing it. I'm already embracing it. I wake up to it. I sleep to it. 
I dream it, I eat it, you understand? So everything I want to say, everything I want to be, everything I, everything that I, I, I say, uh, that this, this is the next level. I see it from my, from my mind eyes. So right now, I want us to repeat it as far as um, often as possible. Is the next dimension I have my the next level the next dimension have my name on it. It's another dimension with my name on it. It's another dimension with my name on it. You understand? This is my under uh, there is another level with my name on it. It's another dimension with my name on it. So it's it's less for you to look at yourself and say, okay, what is that next dimension? What is that next level that I'm looking at? And then you put your name on it. It's as simple as that because basically we all become like the story we tell ourselves. You know, when we say the next level, you know, this is like an introduction. We are like the stories we tell ourselves. So I remember earlier um, last year, and um, when I was writing down the goals for what, what this year is going to be like, at least last year, rather, I, 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 on the go, I put, I'm going to complete a particular project by April. And in April, I was already, I was already facing a lot of financial crisis. I was cash trapped, you understand? But every day I get my go book and I keep on telling, telling myself this particular level, I have my name on it. I kept on saying it and I kept on, if I might, if you used to, if you um, normally attend my classes every Mondays and um, Fridays, you know, that I, I do a lot of manifestation. I do a lot of affirmations. You know, I say these things and I manifest them even before they happen. So when, when we are talking about the next level, the next level may not be here right now. You may not be seeing, you don't know, you don't know how it's going to happen. Yesterday, I wrote a particular post on my page on, on, on Instagram. I was telling people that before my sister I eventually got married, you understand, we are celebrating my sister's marriage last year, um, last month. I, um, it came to a time when she was engaged and then um, before the marriage happened, the engagement was returned back, the bride price returned back because we, we found out a lot of stuff and she was crying. I love what um, our pastor said. He's, she said, you cannot have the, if you, you cannot even have the next level. You cannot even be thinking of the next level if you have not pictured it. So the first thing is, I always talk about goals. The first thing is actually, what's my goal? What's that next level I'm trying to envision? What's that next level I'm trying to put a target on? You understand? So as I said, it is the next dimension with my name on it. So when we are saying, when we are talking about this time to go next level, first of all, you need to know what that next level is for you. So for example, um, just like we have in, long, in the language platform, we have different levels, we have different um, ranks, you understand? So probably some of us are um, setting targets to become a star director in this so, so time. Some of us, for um, people like me, my targets usually um, have to do with a lot of um, finances, a lot of um, money, a lot of, um, you know, probably I'm earning this particular amount in a week. I want to actually know what it feels like to end this particular amount or probably attached to a project and stuff like that. So what's your next level? You need to put your name on that next level. And I, again, another thing that I, I keep doing is I, when I'm attaching myself to a particular level, when I'm attaching myself to a particular goal, when I'm trying to envision a particular goal, I put emotions on it. I put emotions on this goal. Like when I, what do I mean by emotion? So I put things like feelings on the goals. Like it, the goals, the, because when you are setting a goal, for example, you are, you are writing your vision board and there is no emotion attached to it. Unfortunately, the likeness of that goal to happen to manifest is actually is, is 0% or maybe 2%. You understand but then when there is a feeling when there is um an a, emotions attached to it, the way it makes you feel you know when you remember oh so for example this particular goal i've set for myself next year i i actually that goal actually said, come, came up um late september so by the time i started writing it down and then i was right now i was like man if i can if i can be if i did what i did right now now it's the time to go to the next level you know it is time to go to the next dimension it's time to go to the next place the next phase in my life and now every day i, I when i wake up in the morning i close my eyes and i keep on saying it and i keep on affirming it now this is my my level this is where i want to be i own this i'm a millionaire you know stuff like that so i keep on affirming it and affirming it until i start believing it because believe me or not this your next level may be very, very difficult. Your next level may, may require a lot of sacrifice. And this is the under point. There is no next level without hard work. There is no next level without sacrifice. I'm going to ask a um, very fast um, question. Why aren't you, why are you not where you're supposed to be? Why are we, why am I not supposed to, why, why am I not where I'm supposed to be? Sometimes it's, it may be due to connections. You know, I may not have enough people surrounding me 
that actually um, puts me in the right direction. I may not have enough mentors, enough coaches that tells me, oh, you know, this thing you're you actually outdated. You need to be doing this. You need to be doing this. You need to be doing that. You understand? Sometimes it, it may be habits. You understand? Our routines are very wrong. So we wake up in the morning, instead of doing our meditations, our prayers, what I'm doing first of all is, press, is pressing phone, you know, scrolling through Instagram. These are habits, you know. And before you know what's happening, you think you're doing a lot of work, but you're not doing anything. Now, um, and that one is um, something you don't know. Most of us do not know this particular thing, or we even know it, but we're not actually doing it. And the most, the most important part of this for um, things that do not allow us to get to where we are, the most um, point is consistency. Now, most of us want to be, want to get to the next level, you know, want to get to the next level, and we, we are not consistent with actually doing the things that can actually put us in that next level. Of course, for you to become a Diamond 7 in the laundry platform, there is a lot of work required because you need to develop a lot of um, 3D fives, you understand, with uh, in the three different in your three different legs. You know, that is about long reach. For example, when I started uh, talking about connection, the day I learned that it's possible for me to aim um, seven figures from social media was the first day in my life I actually paid about seven something thousand naira, traveled to Lagos and stayed in a, in a very small circle of friends who were discussing about social media and money making from it. So I never knew it's even possible. I don't even understand how people sit down in the comfort of their homes, you know, drop shipping, doing every other thing and making seven figures. When I mean seven figures, I mean one millionaire and above. You know, so I, I felt, oh, this evil guy, I felt it's not possible, you know. I felt the only people that make this particular kind of money are either politicians or people who are just doing, probably buying and selling important containers and, you know, and, and um, whatever have you. You know, but then I was seeing people, the discussion changed. I was seeing people who were doing things I could not do before. Why? Because I started connecting to different different categories of people. So the circle, your circle really matters. And I keep on saying it. If you look at your next, look at if you are hanging around six four people, I'm not saying you can you can <laughs> eliminate and um, block all your poor friends, you know, you know. But if you're hanging ar around the, um, six four people, the truth is that the reality check is that you are going to be the next seventh poor person. Now, what I mean poverty, I'm not talking about poor in accounts. Some people may not have the money right now, but the way they talk. The way they reason, the way the kind of books they read, the kind of things that they, the kind of people they look at, the kind of people that they hang around with, you know that this person is is light. So we, when you see light, you know where you know this is light. You understand. So the point is consistency. A lot of us are incon so so inconsistent yet we want these goals. So when we're talking about the next level, understand that your next level cannot come without sacrifice you must make the necessary sacrifice. You must make the necessary, I'm, 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 I, I love Olingo. I love to enjoy my life. I love to, you know, <laughs> but then by the time I found out that, man, this is not going to give, get me to the level I want to be. I was on a project at that point, you know, and I was on a serious project. What I did was I started tracking. I, in fact, earlier this year, I talked about tracking our money because it's actually one thing to actually aim money from the platform. And it's actually not wanting to know what to do with this money because there are three different um, levels when it comes to finances. Number one is actually earning the money. Number two is keeping the money. And number three is actually make, multiplying the money, making the money work for you. So some people are very good with earning the money, but they're not good with keeping it. Some people are very good with keeping and earning, but they're not good with multiplying. So but when, when you have mastered the three levels, you understand earning, keeping, and multiplying, you are eventually on your way to being, being financially free. Now, when we're talking about next level, next level can be anything. It can be anything. It can be as um, as small as a small as small as oh, you want to get your family together, everybody connected together. You know, some people's family are just scattered. You want to get everybody as one family. That is the next level for you. Your next level can be oh, as small as oh, I'm earning fifty thousand naira right now. By January, I want to I want my income to increase hundred thousand naira every month. You understand and it's important when you're setting your next level it's important you understand yourself it's it's unfortunate that most of us do not know ourselves most of us are not even self um we're not we're not self aware so a lot of when this um, wind blow you follow when this will blow you follow a lot of um trends a lot of things happening and then before you know what's happening that next level is not possible now again there is no next level without sacrifice and remember most of the things we manifest 
is as a result of the stories going inside our head. Because believe me or not, doubt is also a belief. <laughs> I remember when um, I was discussing something with a friend of mine, and he's, the guy was, um, the girl, the lady actually was telling me, Vinelo, if you think you can, you understand, if you think you can actually earn this amount of money, because I was like, do you really mean that you, you are earning this? And she was showing me her um, earnings for that particular week, because I have that kind of circle where we open our earnings to ourselves. And that she was showing me this particular thing, and she was selling on air. And I was like, I don't understand. How do you do this? You know, how do you try? You know, and then now she was telling me, Vinelo, if you think you can, you are right. If you think you can, it's not possible for you, you are also right. So beliefs are also, um, doubt is also a form of belief. You understand? So when, when I say my next level, I'm only seeing my next level, the next dimension, the next place I want to be with my name on it, it's, I need to believe it, first of all. I need to affirm it. I need to as in, totally put an emotion into it that whenever I sleep, like I close my eyes this way, I'm saying, I'm saying all these affirmations. I am powerful. I am strong. I'm healthy from the sole of my feet to, the, to, to my leg. I'm healthy. You know, this is 2022, December, and everything I've asked God for has happened. You know, I, I only, you know, I, I'm saying all these affirmations and I'm saying it because I believe it. Right now, I don't even need to look at my books where I wrote them to say it because it's something that anytime I close my eyes, I'm saying, even in my prayers, it's like my prayers now. Do you understand? I have put a form of emotions into it. Dan, do you know the thing about this? Do you know the, thing, the energy surrounding these things? One way or the other. The world, I cannot even explain it right now. I cannot explain the psychology, the biochemistry, the, or whatever behind it. But the truth is that when I we need something, when okay, before my sister's marriage, let me give a physical illustration. Two illustrations. I've said this is over and over again. I have a cousin of mine who have been telling me, have done my family right from when she was young, that she does not want to get married to anybody in Nigeria. She wants to marry somebody living outside Nigeria, but in Nigeria. Five sisters. I have said this into more than how many people. Five sisters came for this girl. All of them were living outside the country. She had to pick. Now, what's happening is that the words of her mouth is actually very powerful. You understand? So when you begin to say these things, you affirm them. You understand? You tell yourself, this is what I want. Say it. Keep on saying it. Even when they, are done, they don't look like it. I was telling my, um, because sometimes all these things that are happening together are coming together for your own good. You understand? Now, the point is, again, is that you cannot do this you cannot do this, um, you cannot set these visions, you cannot have this vision board, you cannot have all these things without your without believing them, without sacrifice. You must let you must write down things they are going to let go and things they are going to welcome. Friends are going to let go. But let me tell you, in my own, in my own opinion, I never ever had to go and tell anybody, please, I'm not, I'm no more your friend, or you know, and case like that. My routine started changing. My um, habits started changing. And then the, the place that I visited started, you know, started, before I know what's happening, they started giving way. Because by the time they call me, Vinelo, oh, I will not go to this party today. I will not go to this party today. And then I will look at my accounts. And then I realized that, man, I need the money for cement right now. <laughs> the money for rod I need to buy right now is, I'll calculate. If I go to, and go and pop a zoo now, 450, ah, it's been enough for, you know. And then before I know what's happening, I'm not going because already my as if everything I want in my life right now is to get that project done. I remember going to Lagos and I spent three good months. I, the only few times I came out was when they were having the whole um, um, long beach anniversary, sorry, the long beach um, excursion, the, this thing. I had to go and my cousins were like, I'm not going out, what is wrong with you? I told them, no, you see in this house, I'm going to raise all the money I need to complete this project before this particular date and I did it. Why? Because every day in the morning, I wake up and I keep on affirming, even when I'm not seeing the customers coming, I keep on telling myself, customers see me, they like me and they pay me. I don't know when these customers come to me, they come to my page, they come to me and then I will just keep on saying, this customer see me, he likes me and he pays me. This customer, even when, when he's rejecting me, I will be saying, this customer see me. There's, there's, there's a kind of energy, it so it's, gives me, you know, even when the person is saying, oh, I'm not ready to buy, I keep on saying, this customer see me, he likes me and he pays me. You know, I cannot even describe it. And then these affirmations, because already I've already given, I've already written this vision. Already I've already written this next level. Already I've already put, this is where I am. This is who I, who this, this is where I'm going to be at this point in time. You understand? I am born, I am made at this point in time to break generational causes. So nothing is going to stop it. Nothing is going to happen. Even if everybody um, is getting to this place and they are not um, getting across, I'm going to get across one way or the other. You understand? Now, emotions are too attached to these particular goals. Emotions are too attached to these particular visions. One way or the other, the world start bringing things, people, and every other thing that you need to, have to make that goals reality. 
these things happened to me like life. Every day I would just think, I say, God, how did I do this thing? How? You know, in the period of almost two months, I was I was doing a lot. And my daddy was like, are you sure you can do this? I told my daddy, yes, I can do this. My dad was kept, kept on asking, are you sure? I, I want to go to have second plan. I said, no, this only backup plan is me. <laughs> do you understand? I cannot be explaining, but then call it faith as, as well, because the entrepreneurship journey, you cannot do without faith. When I'm saying I need to get to the next level with my name on it, you cannot do it without faith because you cannot, you, there, is no, there is no vision. There is no next level without you seeing where you want to go to. Picturing it, affirming it, believing it. And for you to affirm, believe, you must have some level of faith, you know? And faith can be different things to different people. You know, I may not, if I'm not a Christian, for example, I may be giving it under name because I know that some people are not Christians, you understand? But then they, they, they are moving mountains in their own realm, in their, in their own space. So when we are saying, I am, I, I am, um, my, I have the next level with my name on it. I'm seeing the next level with my name on it. You understand? You need to ask yourself now, what's the next level? Some of us are not self-aware. You understand? So we don't even know what we want. After this particular meeting, we just go out and then we are vibing with everybody. We are just opening our mouths. We are just seeing anything that we want to see. Mm -hmm. See everything in this life, everything powerful, everything strong, everything um, achievable, every success. It needs a sacrifice. There was something you must sacrifice. Very true. And one of the things you must sacrifice is time. Mm. Time. Yeah. Very true. It's very important. Now, um, again, um, the country right now is going through a lot of recession, not just the country. Today I was reading about um, Dubai um, um, evacuating or deporting more than 500 and something people. And I was just laughing. You know, this is countries where people are running to. And then before you know what's happening, they are returning us back, just like garbage. Do you understand? Now, uh, it's important that everybody here, we, uh, when, when we stay the next level, I'm actually pointing out a, a lot of things, when, especially when it comes to finances, you know, because the truth is that money holds a lot of power. I cannot go to the next level without some form of finances, some form of connections, you understand? So the reason why I am doing long, I keep on saying it every day and I keep on celebrating it, my why in the platform, when I, when I joined the platform, I was not joining because I want my skin to be glowing, even though right now it is glowing. When I, before, when I partner with the platform, I have a lot of pimples on my face, but now it's no more there, you understand? But that was never my why. I never joined because oh the toothpaste was working miracles, even though it is it is actually working miracles. <laughs> you understand? That was not my why. The only reason why I partnered with the platform was because I wanted to leverage the platform to build my own business. So I keep on saying this every day and every day. I was leveraging madly on the platform to build my own business, and that's that was the first thing that that is the that is my why and remains my only why. You understand? Now, when we talk about network marketing, the platform network marketing is actually a very, very big platform. So for me, it is not just a platform where you come and brush your teeth or tell people about the toothpaste. It's a platform where you change people's lives, where you, you feel people and people feel you, where you make impact and people get, get this impact. For example, I'm in this CIG. I don't even know how people people here. You understand? But I'm very sure that tomorrow when people need furniture, they will say, oh, that vanilla sells furniture. Let me go and for his Instagram page. You know, they want to buy from me. You know, that is impact. So coming to the pla language platform, I have eventually worked with a lot of people to furnish their houses, supply furnitures to their, including our Ezishina and Efyonga, you know, and so many other people. Now, what am I trying to make? That's my why. Now, understanding my why puts me up there when I partner with the platform. When I started the language platform in Nigeria, in um, Anambra, basically I had a lot of people surrounding me who were stockists, you know? Now, these people were stockists and they were like, this thing is not working. This is not working. You have, and you're even a guy. Ah, they were telling me so many stories, so many stories. I had to travel all the way from the East, including my parents. We are a lot of, um, we, are, we, are, we are challenges, bring a lot of, brought a lot of challenges my way, basically. But I had to travel to Gamid.id, who eventually told me about the platform. On the very first day, when I traveled to Lagos without my 70,000 naira to go and pay how to use a social media platform to push my business, I was hungry. You know, when I met her, I traveled with her and I met her and I was like asking her so many questions. I was convinced beyond reasonable doubt that this is what I need to push myself to the next level. And do you know what happened? Because I understood my why. When all those problems were coming, when all those challenges were coming, I was not looking at every other person. You know, I was not looking at people telling me how the products are expensive because I know that I'm not in this business because of 
um, uh, because uh, for their own reasons, you understand. So even when the product was expensive, I was telling myself, oh, this product is expensive, but I know forever, for example, my staff have done forever and they have this particular liquid. I've forgotten what it's called. It's actually green, very, very bitter. And it's actually very, very costly. But I see my sister selling that particular liquid, very, very bitter, very, very costly. And that's like about their biggest products. They also have varieties. And I was like, if this girl can actually sell these products, I can sell on Christian products. Because already I know myself, I was self-aware of what I wanted. I was not looking at Obi or Ada. In fact, at that point in time, the only person I knew was Dr. IG. The only person I knew was Dr. IG. You understand? But then when you come in, when you are working, because I'm talking about the next level. So you cannot do, you cannot talk about the next level without even understanding yourself, knowing your why. Why am I doing this? Why am I trying to fight? Why am I trying to what, what am I trying to push? What am I fighting for? What am I here for? At this point in time, right now, what am I living for? Because all these things are very important, you know. I know my, my mom asked me a question. What I said immediately was, see, mom, we don't have the money right now, but this is the reason I'm called. I'm called for a such as time, a such as a time as this. A time such One as way or the other is going to happen. And I'm telling the truth, it happened. Mm. And every day I sit back in my table, I make bigger goals because I keep on telling myself that if I can see success is not just one thing, you can actually become a diamond seven, it's not. Success for me is repeatedly achieving a particular going ahead and ahead of what you have achieved every time. You understand? Absolutely. So, for example, you have actually done this. Now you want you want to do something bigger and you're setting a bigger goal. Now, at that point, and that's why I said I remember when I was listening to a particular training by Coach Tommy Wellington, and she said that um it is easier to actually achieve the first success. So when you're making your first million naira, it's actually very easy, you know compared to when you are making, oh, for example, because right at that time, you don't have anything measuring, you don't have a yacht, you don't have anything you are looking back on. So you just have to make first one, your first one million naira. Now, but the question is, after you have made that first one million naira, in the next couple of months, have you made three million? Have you made seven million, 10 million? You understand? So right now, we are not, I'm not trying to measure because all of us have things that we achieved, all of us listening to media, even if you are just 10 years, we have things that we have achieved in our lives. But now the question is, how much more can you go? How much Absolutely. more? Because there's something called success coma. Wow. You know, when you feel, oh, I've landed. I'm all right, all right, all right, Vincent. I, I'm, <laughs> we may have to call me. We know, yeah, it's. We know we, you are loaded, and this is what we anticipated in from the beginning. And thank you, thank you. You have not actually disappointed us. Uh, please, please, for those that are on this call tonight, you've not had it. There are in between lines you have not heard. So subscribe to Long Beach CIG on YouTube. Click on the like button. Click on the notification button for you to really watch. Or you go back to our Facebook page, CIG Hub, to get these nuggets. Uh, yeah, I, I had to cut in because of our time. And that part of what you have said takes me to this question. Uh, you talk about the financial crisis, talk about when people see money, how do you want to earn it? How do you want to keep it? How do you want to multiply it? Now, there is recession, there is global economic downtown now. Do you consider this business as a recession proof? And if yes, what makes it so? Okay, I'm going to, I like to answer questions with experience. Um, in 2020, Abby, right? That was when they have the COVID-19. Right, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Um, I think that so far, even till now, I have my highest earnings in 2020. And uh, I think none of them was less than six figures, basically. And my daddy was, before I partnered with the platform, did not understand what the platform is. My dad is not educated and um, he did not understand the power, the power of leverage. So by the time I started the long reach platform, oh, every day he kept on telling me, this toothpaste you are selling, Okay, you bought it 1,600. How much are you going to sell it? That's all he understood, buying and selling, and then the profit made on top of it. So, but then I saw so it is with every businessman. Yes, just like every other people <laughs> businessman. So I kept on telling him that the money is not actually from the profit made from, um, eventually, if, that, if the money, I will not be focusing on this because I already have my own business, you know? But then I'm talking about leverage. I'm talking about how many people who are using the platform, who signed up the platform, through my network, it may not even be through me directly, but through somebody that I signed up or through somebody that signed up, somebody that I, you know, and stuff like that. And he, but he could never, he, he never understood what I was explaining until the COVID-19 happened. So probably for us, the COVID-19 were um, a lot of, um, 
you know, so many people lost their souls, so many people died, so many people lost their families and all, unfortunately, and God rest their soul. But then that point was a learning time for me because everything, you know, everything teaches you a lesson. You know, for me, at that point, my sister was well paid. She was laid off and my, my dad had to close down all his businesses. And then we have all of us were basically at home, including myself. But you know what happened? I took it upon myself that every day of the COVID-19 day, every day, every blessed day I was having trainings with my team and my, my aim is skyrocketing. Do you understand? And my daddy, every day, every Thursday when Long Beach paid me, including my Shana trip, my um, car phones, I just run to my dad and show him, did your business pay you this? Now this is leverage. Until a day he kept on asking me, okay, explain how it happened. Then I brought the short book and said, right. Now, what am I saying? We are in recession right now. We are in inflation. And, the, and it's not just Nigeria, it's, it's a global inflation because even in Turkey right now, they are even having worse inflation than we're having right now in Nigeria. Go and ask. Now, the point is, even in this inflation, national marketing can still float. You understand? National marketing stays afloat because we are not doing the business of basically buying and selling. We are doing a business of leverage. Sure. And Longish is uh, not just in national marketing. Longish stays even more afloat because we are not just staying in Nigeria. In, well, of course, we know, right now we know that our, our business is a global business where we can grow teams from Ghana, from UK, and from every other part of the world where we can, and then train these people and build our business. So yes, our business, can actually stay afloat any form of inflation, any form of economic meltdown, any form of recession. Wow. Thank you so much. Yes, our business can withstand any form of recession. You touched on this question while you were talking, but I want to bring it back to you. With all the women around you, network marketing has been tagged to the women's business. How have you survived, Janet, really? How have you been able to hold it on? I'm proudly still do this business. I leverage on the women. So if probably they said, oh, if they, <laughs> they said, everybody said it's a, it's a woman business. And then when I was talking to my guys, they were looking at me like I'm strange. I, I switched from my guys and started talking to women. So it's, 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 it's it does, all, most of my leaders right now wow. are mostly ladies you know so i have a lot i have a lot of guys as well in my team but then they come in and then they spend that fast money and then put in what's happening and dropping it's just one out of 10 guys that stays you understand so what i did is okay so probably the women preach more gospel the women um you know propagate you know and uh, you know tell people about this to spread more of uh, more gospel now let us leverage on the women i said looking looking out for more women i or after my bring your girls, bring your girls, let's talk to them. You know, my sisters, bring your girls. And then before we know what's happening, out of temple we'll talk to, I'll get to. And those who I'll work with them to get their orders, and then that's how we teach. That's how I grew. Wow. So what they think is a disadvantage, just turn it around to an advantage, and that has worked. But with your several other businesses, network marketing, how did you fit it in? Yes. You went in with a why, but how did how are you able to fit it in with the various other things you do? It was very tough, and that is the toughest thing so far, because um I will not lie, my um network marketing business actually took a, a step back this year, because this year I was three times more engaged than I have ever been. You know, having my projects, my goals that were or that was almost driving me mad. And um, losing so much money earlier this year when I felt I was already hitting what I needed, and then eventually it just happened. It's it's actually crazy trying to um, balance, you know, your every other business with national marketing business. But then understanding the national marketing business core, the core of national marketing business actually helped me because everything that we do here is just referral, you know, and understand that only my 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 only job is to educates people. Do you understand? So instead of me right now fixing time, oh, I'm fixing time. I stopped fixing time for trainings. You know, I train anywhere, anywhere. I, I can be I can be going on the train and training you. I can so I just make as much time as I can. I just use as much time as I can to do my business, you know, as fast as I can. So I'm I'm actually saying this when I started my long beach business, I dropped back a lot on my personal business because at that point in time, I was in a serious debt and I was looking for a way to pay off this debt. And I was doing the business almost 24 hours. 
you understand. And then I, I had staff, you understand, doing every other thing. But this year, I understood what it means to try to combine two businesses because last earlier, last late last year and this year, I was in deep into my business, you know, discussing a lot of stuff with um Chinese and you know, doing so many things. And in fact, at the point I was losing balance. <laughs> it's, it's that difficult. I was losing balance. But then I knew that this particular business was actually what pushed me out to gain, to gain balance in my own business. I never wanted it to go down. So what I was doing is I was using every time I can, I can get, every small time I can get to train my team, look up, um, check up, check up on my team, call, you know, follow ups and do what I can. And then that's thing that helps me as much mm. as I can is setting down goals. So every day I, I write down my goals, I write down my targets, and then the goals may not be very, very big. You understand when it comes to the longish platform, but I make sure that in every week, no matter how small, personally, I am contributing a PV in my back office. It has helped mm. me. No matter how small, personally, I'm not talking about my team. I'm saying personally, I'm contributing, even if it's just, 60 PV, 100 PV, personally, is something I'm doing. So what's, what's it doing? It's helping me that even though I am pushing hard in my own personal business, which is giving me, which is, which is actually giving me money, you understand? I'm not forgetting the fact that I'm also a professional network marketer, a professional network marketer. I'm not forgetting the fact that when I had nothing in my business, the platform, first of all, pushed me up. So I cannot leave it right now when probably there's so many challenges and you know stuff like that. So that is it for me. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now you talk about you training. In fact, there was a time you had to get the board and train uh, your family. family. We yeah. want you to do something if possible in two to three minutes. Then that's just to read the entry levels and introduce the business. Then you will encourage those that are struggling in this business or those still considering signing up on this. I'm going to share the screen for you. So just give us the entry level in space of two minutes. Thank you. Okay, so in Longish, the platform. Okay, the screen is French, yeah. Okay, thank you. So um, we have the entry levels on the platform. And then I will start with the VIP because the VIP is the most important and the most um, significant entry level um, with the CGP, uh, what's the code? Um, the PV of um, 1680. And then we'll have the platinum 720, gold um, 240, silver 120, Q silver 80, Q silver 60, and starter combo 4 PV. Please, if you are here, the starter combo is not for you, except you are a student. That is it's called a student package. Now, it's um, these particular things I called out right now, you may not really understand. It simply means that if you are starting with the VIP, you are starting with 1,200 Naira, and then 1.2 million Naira rather. And this 1.2 million Naira simply means it's free registration. You understand? You are getting products worth 1.2 million naira, and you can choose your product of your choice. And then the same thing happens to the platinum down to the starter combo. You are getting products worth 500,000, gold 180,000, silver 90,000, Q silver 45 to 60,000, and starter combo 14,000. Now, when we have the weekly bonuses, you are going to see that, um, you are going to notice that the VIP have the biggest weekly bonuses. When I started my language platform, I started with the Q silver. But my eyes was on the goal. And what is the goal? What is the big goal in this platform? The VIP. You understand? The VIP is where you earn 12% um, performance bonus if you are with your team. You understand? 12% performance bonus simply means because this platform, you are paid on your performance, what you do. That's why it's different from salary. So if you want to earn 1 million naira in a week, go and work, the, go and do the work of 1 million naira. And then you are being paid 12% of it. And then the 1% global incentive simply means that Longwish is paying you 1% of everybody who is a VIP, who is active, you understand? So everything that your team has done in that particular um, um, cycle, Longwish pays, and everybody who is a VIP, Longwish pays you 1%. This, that is what differentiates the Platinum with the Platinum VIP. So even as I am right now, every month, my, one, my global incentives are growing, you understand? And I always say it is it's important to become a VIP before you even become a diamondary. Now you can see the percentages of other um, weekly bonus of other entry levels. We have 12% for platinum, 10% for gold, 8% um, for silver, and 8% for Q silver. The style combo does not have, um, the style combo is just a student package. For me, it's something I tell people, if you're starting with style combo, it's just, oh, long is just trying to help you. So at least, help you when you have started with Sala combo you sell your product and upgrade yourself 
to become a Q silver. And then you can upgrade yourself to become a VIP. Remember that if you're starting with a Q silver, you can always upgrade yourself gradually to become a VIP. And that's about that with the entry level. So um, what's the next question, sorry? Uh, okay, just to so encourage those that may be planning to join or those that are struggling in the business. Okay, so um, for, um, for those of us who are actually planning to join, I will, again, just like I said, your eyes, put your eyes on the next level. You understand? When you're planning to join this business, please remove your eyes from every other person. Take your eyes from every other person who's in the business. Look for a mentor. Look for a coach and hold that coach's hand. If the coach tells you to jump, please just be jumping. Stop asking questions. This is advice I will give you. Because the language platform is just like every other platform. You can see there are different entities for other, other countries, just like every other business. So you cannot do it on your own. You need people surrounding you to help you to get to the next level. And then for all the other people who are in the platform who are struggling, you understand, struggle your way up. That's advice for me, from, from me to you. Struggle your way up. See, all of us have fears, but you know what? We just do it at fridge. That's what I tell myself. I always, I'm, I'm one of the most scared people, persons in the room, but then you cannot find me staying stagnated in a place. I just wake up and I do it afraid. So today I'm advising you to struggle your way up. Thank you. Wow. Thanks so much. I know people are eager to, to make comments To You can see the chat popping up. Uh, let me just ask them to unmute. Wow, wow, thank you so much, thank you so much. Yeah, say good things to Vincent now. Thank you so much, you've been excellent tonight. Thank you, wow, thank you, you're welcome. Thank you, 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 thank we really, 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 really appreciate your coming. We don't take it for granted. Thank you for dishing out your, your heart to us. You have no actually, you no, know, even though there could be some things you don't give out everything, but what you have given out are loaded already. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We'll have a, a very short break now before I call on the three SD. So everybody stay glued to your sets. Don't miss this. Saturday, 29th of October, all roads lead to Heaven's Event Center, GRA Ikeja, as Long Reach Bioscience Nigeria celebrates its 10 years anniversary. 10 years of touching lives, empowering people, and changing the world. It's an afternoon of super celebrations and rewards to members and friends with many gifts to be won, amongst which are plasma TVs, air conditioners, refrigerators, and many more. All you need to do is buy a raffle ticket from any member you know or at the Longridge office, 1 Thomas Adufo Street, opposite Sheraton Link Bridge, Okbebi Ikeja. Each raffle ticket costs 5,000 Naira. The day promises to be interesting with side attractions from comedians, Chooks the General, Open Teeth and MC Larry J, live music from the Cool Eyes Band and a special guest performance from Timita Kolo. Don't forget, Longridge 10th Anniversary Celebrations is on the 29th October 2022 at the Heavens Event Center or back in Jobby Way, GRA Ikeja. And red carpet is 11 a.m. You just can't miss it. You don't want to miss that. If you are in Lagos, you don't want to miss that. All right, can we have the 3SD uh, as the chief servant of uh, CIG? Uh -huh. You're welcome, boss. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Vincent, a.k.a. Vinello. <laughs> I didn't know that time has gone while you were talking, but the next level is another dimension with my name on it. I think everybody should take that home for tonight. And um, 
money does not go to those who need it, but those who duplicate it. I hope somebody got a message from there. I have certain things I want to talk to long Richards about today. You know, every week, every midweek, weekend, we engage partners globally to carry out the campaign of our brand and also to keep taking the good news of the benefits of these products to different families. We had Vincent talking and he was trying to reestablish belief, the belief system. He does not have a fragile belief system. And that is one of the core values of our business. God willing, sometime before the end of this year, I will do a masterclass for people that are really promoting the long range business. Not all people that are consuming the products, but people that are promoting, pushing the business so that they can achieve financial freedom. I will do a masterclass for them once again so that they can actually understand what they are doing in the platform. Not by attending meetings alone, but there are certain things that we must put in place. I have some questions for everybody that is here present in the, in the meeting tonight. As a long reach partner, you must check your portal daily. Are you doing that? If you claim to be a long reach partner, you must have favorite products you use daily. As a long reach partner, you must see seminars and company events as priorities. When I use the word partners, I'm not talking of users. I'm talking of the business builders. There's a difference between a business builder and a consumer. There are a lot of consumers that have codes. I'm not talking of those ones. I'm talking of those that are consuming and also building the business. As long reach partner, you must always make new friends so that you can get new customers and leads. It is very, very important. A long reach partner must have an accountability partner, a mentor, or a coach. You can't travel alone in this business. There must be somebody who is pushing you or you are going to for a push or clarification, for motivation. A long reach partner must learn how to ask questions all the time because in asking questions, you are getting a lot of things solved already. A long reach partner must be passionate about the about the products by telling people about the benefits of the products. If you are not passionate, you will close your mouth. If you are not passionate, you will close your mouth. If you are passionate, it will voluntarily come out of you once you are in the midst of people. As a long reacher, you must be careful of who you follow in the social media. You must know your online associates and your target markets to avoid distraction. It is not enough when you hear people talking about going to the social media and you go there and start doing things the way it is not supposed to be done. In fact, you may get lost in the social media. If you must use the social media, you need a guide. Why? And that is why getting a mentor, getting a coach or an accountability partner is important, especially mentor or coach, if you must use the social media. The essence is in the social media, you have all kinds of information that are looking alike. 
it will be difficult for you to differentiate them. So you need a guide to so that you don't fall into the wrong hands. Thank you very much, um, Vincent. You talk about women. Women are powerful. Women makes the crowd easy, probably because of the power of, they have the power of duplication naturally. They are the ones that, you know, do the procreation thing. Now, if you could recall in the Bible, the people who really gave Jesus Christ ministry support at the early stage were women who were supporting from the apostles. If you are a pastor and you want to grow fast in your church, it means you need women around you to grow your church. Why? Because a woman, once she's passionate about something, she puts in her all, and success is always abound. We have heard about the anniversary. Most times I hear people ask questions. They ask achievers, people who have succeeded in the platform. How did you get there? How did you do it? But sometimes the answers are right in front of them, but they cannot see it. Probably because it involves some activities to be done. This anniversary that is coming up now next Saturday, it is an opportunity for every partner in the business to raise the stake, to create more awareness within their circles. For those people you have been seeing, you know, very difficult to speak with, this is the time to invite them. It is an event that anybody that goes there will feel welcome one, and also will feel received and informed at the end of the day. Because a lot of things will happen, be it entertainment, be it intellectual reasoning, and also presentations and all that. So then, of course, the benefit of the platform that you may not have been able to explain to these people, this is the right time for you to do that. Because a lot of activities will take place that will showcase that network marketing is not about dragging products in the streets. You will see people from different backgrounds mounting the stage that day, either as directors or as achievers. This is a very important event. I expect every partner to participate, irrespective of the distance. Wherever you are, look for a partner in Lagos. Look for a prospect in Lagos. If you cannot come, you must have a team member in Lagos. If you don't have a team member in Lagos, look for a friend, look for a relative, and give that person an invitation. Say, please, I want you to represent me. I cannot make it. But please go there. This is the ticket because the gate fee is 5000 But it is my company event. There is a way you package an information to somebody and you see the person attending and say, look, I love what I saw there. And I would like, I would like to be part of it. For those of you that are living in Europe, America, and other parts of the world, this is a time for you to get a team member or a downline in Nigeria. Buy the ticket for that person. It will not cost you more than $10. Invite the person to come. You don't need to come yourself. By the time the person goes there, the person will get back to you. And what happens? You will see yourself using this medium. I sometimes wonder, how do people want to grow in this business when they cannot see or understand what is being put in front of them? You are seeing something like an examiner that has given questions during an exam, and now you expect the examiner to tell you the answers. It's not possible. The company cannot tell you where the stones are placed. We that have crossed are telling you these are the places the stones are placed, and these are the right things you have to do. Now, I'm summarizing. This question I want to ask is for certain people here. If you know it involves you, but you must be a CIG member. 
please reach out to me before it is too late. Have you been in this platform for over two years and you are yet to get three disciples? I'm not talking about three downlines, three disciples, three solid team members you can talk with every day and are passionate with the business. Two years. Are you in this business and you are considering quitting because of stagnancy? Are you in a state of no upline support? And the person who brought you into the business has left. So you are now beginning to consider this is not for me. If you fall into any of these three categories, find a way to reach out to me. I can help you. There is nothing I need again in this business more than to help people because I can see that the top is uncrowded and down is full with people there. There are a lot of people that can still come up. Don't misconstrue, misconstrue the company itself that is a system and management. The system is completely solid. And the system is not dying today, tomorrow. I enjoy everybody that is in this business. Even though you are not growing, even though you are not making headway, but you are passionate, you are consistent, you have done everything that needs to be done, and there is no result. There is hope for you. Reach out. Thank you very much. Try to get your ticket. For those of you, there is a promo that is going on now, and the promo will also give you tickets. Please do everything to conclude that transaction before Wednesday so that you can get your tickets or buy a ticket for yourself, buy for your prospects, and take this advantage to bring in that most difficult prospect you have been trying to get in. Thank you very much, and God bless you all. Over to you, Anko Seto, and you take. Thank you so much, 3SD. Thank you for always being there and always throwing in those nuggets. Every time we hear you, we're, we are, we are, we are strengthened to move ahead. With you in front, we know we can't miss it. And Vinelo, thank you so much for today. Thank you so much for all that you were able to bring to the table for actionable nuggets, because I know that with those nuggets, if we work it, we can't miss it. And I will leave us before I hand back over to Seton, something I heard recently, and it's this. When you learn something new, please, within 48 hours, put it to work. Otherwise, you may lose it. So we've heard a lot today. What are you going to do with them? Before the next two days, make sure you are working on the nuggets. Thank you so much for joining us today. And next week will be most powerful. Thank you, everybody. Over to you, Seton. Seton, just a moment Thank before you. I go off. I forgot something. All right, sir. Yeah, I want to use this medium to congratulate our first Diamond Four in Ghana, Dokas Neboa, and she's also a stockist. I am drawing her attention to this. If she's here, she can come online. She started this business from the scratch. That was, I think, early last year, if I'm not mistaken, or 2020, during the COVID. And she was building little by little, little by little. I will say I never saw a PV coming, only for her to just drop a portal page for me during the week <laughs> that I'm on four. I said, this is my person. That is how it works with 17,000 PVs. She is the first person that was signed up in Ghana that pushed the business and got to Diamond 4. And I can say she's an organic team builder. She's done so well, and she has helped a lot of Nigerians and even UK residents to solve their product issues, product availability issues. She's very, very reliable, and also she's a trusted stockist 
that anybody can run to any time, and she's willing to leave her shop, even though she doesn't have product, and go to the head office to get it. And she helped us with over 50 Codicets when Codicet was seriously not available in Nigeria. She's done so well. Congratulations on your Diamond 4. I know Diamond 5 will look more beautiful on you. God bless you. Vincent Okafor, you are doing very well. And if you are in Asaba, I am recommending him as our training lead. And very soon, Asaba will start with the um, you know, states uh, trainings and worry also. So all of you that are in this call, do not be despair, do not lose hope. I can assure you the only thing that can stop you from achieving your goal in this business is you quitting. But if you don't quit, as long as you keep moving, putting one leg before the next one, one leg in front, one leg in front, you will surely get to your destination. And the destination is a five-star director. And you know what that means to be a five-star director. It means your earnings should move over to seven digits weekly. So that is it. Thank you so much, Mr. Seton. Thank you, uh, Pastor Ute, for your consistency in ensuring that we get the best of this business going. I want to appeal to people who are lack, but behind in knowledge of this product and those who know, please, every Wednesday, don't play with it. Our time, we never got this. But for those of you who are seeing all this, if you miss the Wednesday training, go online to the YouTube and watch those products. If you have product knowledge, you can never, ever fail in this business, whether you have money or not. Because if you have knowledge, people will still follow you. It is when you don't have knowledge, you don't have money, then you have nothing to offer to be candid. So please, Wednesdays, we have midweek meeting, 8 p.m. Everyone, Everyone should try, try as much as, as much possible, possible to show up so that we can also get certain things clarified during questions and answer. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. We'll see you next week, Sunday. You don't want to miss that. It's a deluded version again. It's a deluded one. I won't let the cat out of the bag. Thank you, and have a good night. And once again, thank you so much, uh, Vinello. God bless you. God bless you. Bye, everybody.